Hi, my name is Sebastian from Green Music Productions, and this is Bloom by OX Sound. Bloom is an adaptive tone shaping plugin designed to refine and transform audio in a natural and dynamic way. It balances overtones, enhances tonal clarity, and provides context aware adjustments, ideal for creating warmth, brightness, or precision without harshness or muddiness. So, without going too deep into the technical things that Bloom can do, let's dive right in and try to improve on this simple drum and bass track. So right off the bat, I put Bloom on the drum track, which is a sterile sounding Groove Agent preset. Um, and as soon as you put it on, it already is affecting the sound. As you can see here, it's dynamically adjusting the frequencies to try to remove some harshness or some problems in the frequency range. So we have a big knob there. By default, it's set at five. This is basically the amount that you're applying. You can reach the squash zone, which basically squashes the sound, similar to what a compressor would do. This could be good for acoustic drums or drums in general, but since this one sounds sterile, it's just amplify what I don't like about this drum. So let's put it to seven and try to tweak the bread and butter of this plugin, which is the different bands. Now, Unlike an EQ, it's really easy to understand and intuitive. You have four bands, so lows, low mids, high mids, and highs, and you can tweak them up and down and left and right. So let's solo the drum first. By moving up, it's basically increasing that frequency, but, but it's context aware and it's doing it dynamically, so it never really sounds bad no matter what I do. I can hold Alt to solo the bend and only hear what I'm doing. Or I could press that headphone button right there to do the same thing. You can also go down to reduce the specified frequency. And by going left and right, as you can see over here, you're changing the frequency that you're emphasizing. So for this specific drum track, I feel like there's not much punch in the low end section. So let's try to fix that. That's better. Now let's move to the low mid section. Most of the time, you would want to remove that cardboard sound in a drum. Since this track is already pretty rich in the high frequency, I will try to raise the low mids instead. Now let's move to the high mids. I kind of like the 1K. That section right there. Now the high frequencies. It goes up to 27 kilohertz, but that's mainly because the Q, if you look at the frequency range down there, uh, the cue is really wide and it's moving dynamically. So it affects, if I put it to 27K, it will affect up to 8K almost. So that's why we can still hear it. Let's add a little bit of 2.5 kilohertz. Now let's bypass the plugin. Wow. That's a big improvement in my opinion. Now let's try to move it into the squash zone. I don't dislike that. 
just a little bit. Yeah, I'll keep that. Now let's move to the bass track. This one has a lot of mids, not a lot of high frequencies. So let's see what Bloom will do. So right off the bat, it brings back some high frequencies and some low frequencies, and it carves some space into the uh, low mids slash high mids. Uh, you have sliders to either make it affect only a specific range, so it excludes this range here, so the low frequencies, and you have the same thing for the high frequencies. So if I don't want it to affect up of 8K, I can easily do it, and the same for the low frequencies. You also have a high cut and low cut. In this case, I feel like the low frequencies of that bass are really muddy, so I think I will use the low cut in this situation. Let me try to isolate the frequency. I feel like everything under 100 hertz is just muddiness, so... Probably set it to somewhere around 90. But I still want to raise... Somewhere around 350. Let's move to the low mids. I like that. Around 2k, I feel like it's pretty good. Now the highs. Okay, let's bypass it. Now let's bring back the drum. So if I bypass boom on the bass and on the drum. Wow. That's crazy. Now let's move to the stereo output. So Bloom has some presets as well. And it has some for the master mix, so let's try it out. So as you can see here, you also have the ability to tweak the mids and the sides separately. So in this case, for this uh, mix bus preset, it's in MS split mode. So you can separately tweak the mids and the sides, which is a good thing. I like the modern rock, but I would probably lower the high mids a little bit. I feel like it's a bit too bright. 
without with. So again, let me bypass all of the Bloom's instances. Back on. That's crazy. Um, I really like plugins that are really easy to use, that it's almost impossible for you to mess up the sound in this case, since it's context aware and it's dynamic. It's never gonna really sound bad, but it will help you emphasize on what you want. So that's really cool. And this was really simple. It was just on a drum and bass track. But imagine what it can do to a full track. Uh, I'll leave a link to their website uh, below so you can check it out. Uh, they have amazing plugins. Um, but as usual, if you like that kind of content, make sure to click that like button and subscribe if you're not a subscriber. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.